Well, folks, it's October 3rd, and if you're like me, it's really nice to get some assurances that Nintendo Switch 2 will actually be revealed relatively soon, if not this month, November, December, etc. Now, obviously, I'm of mind, and I said this on our podcast last night, that if it's not revealed this month, I'm shifting the team 2025. I feel like this is almost like the last stand for 2024, but I'm not an insider, right? That's just my opinion, and I think a lot of us have a lot of opinions about Nintendo Switch 2, and I'm actually going to have a video coming later today uh, going over why I love talking about Nintendo Switch 2 so much. I think it's an important conversation to have and add some context. Whether people want to believe me or not, that's obviously up to the individuals. I'm not here to have to prove anything to anyone. I know who I am and I know why I do what I do, but it's going to be a fun video nonetheless. And I think um, a bit nostalgic and reminiscent of maybe some memories all of us share together or many of us do at least from our past that being said the reason that i'm talking about this right now is because ph brazil has come out and said something about nintendo switch 2 now what he has said isn't so much new information it's more of a clarification again it's october 3rd this isn't new but it's just a reminder that as of today yes PH Brazil does believe that Nintendo Switch 2 is being revealed this year. And he's the one who's been right on it. so many things this year. It's hard to even go over the full list. But if we look here, he says, in response to Space Godzilla, he says, Good morning, Brazil. Do you still think the Switch 2 will be announced this year? Because like half the people on this thread have already given up. And Brazil responds and says, It's the 3rd of October, and y'all are already in need of reassurance. Come on! <laughs> Nothing has changed since the last time I spoke about this, like a week ago. I think it was about two weeks ago, but uh, on Fami boards anyways. And he says, I still think it's being announced this year. Yes. And he goes on in response to someone who was being quite insulting to him to be like, all of my sources that I had back in February are indicating all the information I have. He doesn't know the exact reveal time. He doesn't know if it's this month. He doesn't know when the reveal is, but he has no reason to believe it's being revealed in 2025. And every reason to believe is being revealed in 2024 based on his sources. Now, again, these sources aren't telling him when things are going to be revealed, but he knows a lot of key information that heavily implies to him it's being revealed this year and that has nothing to do with whether it's going to be revealed this month november or december right like he he, he goes on to joke in another post how like you know if people's vibes are off with switch 2 nintendo could literally reveal it at 3 12 a.m on a sunday and everyone's vibes would instantly change so when the reveal happens that's going to completely alter how everyone's feeling, regardless of how we're feeling in the moment. And a lot of you I know are very, very anxious. I, I think that's the big takeaway that, you know, Brazil feeling like he needs to re-clarify yet again that he believes it's being revealed this year is uh, that there is a lot of anxiousness around this reveal. And I, I kept wondering to myself, I'm obviously someone who talks about Switch 2 practically daily, and... Uh, you know, some people might get anxious because of my videos. And while I have a video coming later about why I do what I do, I do think we need to focus in on that anxiousness a little bit. Regardless of when this system is revealed, it's going to be revealed. Regardless of when it releases, it's going to release. We are going to have a next generation Nintendo platform with next generation Nintendo games. And one of the hardest things I think in dealing with anxiousness and even a tinge of excitement that might be attached to that anxiousness is what are we anxious about? Uh, unless you are somebody who is terminally ill, which I really apologize if you are, unless you're somebody who um, doesn't think they're going to be alive a year from now, then I don't know what we're panicking about. Like, look, I'm, you know, 38 years old. I'm, I'm approaching 40 here. I'll be 39 next year. And yeah, this system's going to come out by, you know, no later than when I'm 40, right? Like I turned 40 in 2026. So it's not going to come out any later than then, I don't think. And I still feel like I've got many, many years ahead of me, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40 years ahead of me. And when I think about how much time is left on, on this on this earth, which is a much bigger uh, deal than just any individual console release, I realize I have a lot of time to play Nintendo Switch 2 or whatever they call this thing. I have a lot of time. I think um, this anxiousness comes from... Uh, this era of the internet, I didn't grow up uh, with the internet uh, in the early 90s and then mid 90s. We had the beginning of the internet, but it was really slow and was, really wasn't a part of our daily lives. And 
Today, we grow up where the internet's in our pocket and you got access to social media and YouTube and Twitter and all these other things all the time, information coming at you, and a lot of instant gratification. And I think this is why I've never gotten upset, like when the Switch 2 was, you know, delayed or when we started talking about this stuff all the way back in 2022 after the NVIDIA leaks. And people go like, oh, it's been so long, so long talking about this, so long this, so long. Like, I think like anxiousness comes from a little bit of impatience where people are used to just instant gratification. And this is where I'll, I'll share a personal story here on why you shouldn't worry about that why your anxiousness should maybe be set aside a bit there's this quote out there i don't remember who it comes from but like great things come to those who wait and i will just add to that with my own little personal inference here the best things that have happened in my life never happened right away never happened tomorrow or a week from now or a year all the best things that i have in my life took years uh, this career I have on YouTube, I wasn't successful out the gate. 2017, I, I didn't catch the Switch wave. Like you saw all these content creators blowing up with Switch. I didn't catch any of that wave. I got uh, into the Switch stuff late in terms of content creation here uh, because I was leaving a former job where I was just talking Zelda every day. And uh, the interesting part here is it didn't take until about what, 2023? For me to really catch any sort of wave here on youtube so last year and that was with tears of the kingdom so when I, I think about that i put in all this time this effort this passion into something and you know what it took many many years you know 2017 to 2023 it took six years for it to pay off and now here i am doing youtube for a living and and happier with my career than i've ever been uh my fiance uh, we, you know, we dated uh, on and off, you know, the beginning of a relationship, you know, we eventually moved in together and then we broke up and all this other stuff in between. But now fast forward 13 years and she's my best friend. I mean, Eric's my best friend too, but she's my best friend, uh, best female friend, I suppose. And uh, I can't imagine life without her. And that took years of working on ourselves, working on our relationship, working on everything uh, to get to the point where we are just perfectly happy with each other. Uh, same thing is really true, even with Switch. I obviously really enjoyed Switch out the gate with Breath of the Wild, but it took years of Nintendo continuing to prove that they're not just going to put all their best games out at the beginning of the generation. They're going to keep supporting that for me to fully believe that Nintendo Switch is now my favorite platform of all time. It took a long time for that to happen. It had to beat the Super Nintendo, and it did that. And when we think about even like my kids, they've taken years for me to, you know, grow and mature and learn as a parent to to love them and and provide for them and have them provide you know that happiness back that some parents can get from their kids and i look at everything i've ever obtained or whatever in my life and anything that's been a quick fix that it doesn't last the quick the quick fixes are nice that little that little injection of dopamine and all that but that feels nice and it's exciting in the moment but then it, it, it's fleeting it's like opening you know a uh, let's, let's say you get really excited about a new stuffed animal when you were a kid you got for your birthday, but then a few months later, maybe you're not touching that stuffed animal anymore because you moved on to the next new thing that entered your life. And I feel like that's a little bit of what's happening here with this anxiousness around Switch 2. A lot of us have had Switch for a long time. Some of us have only had it for a year or two. Some of you maybe got a Switch this year. And people are just anxious about Nintendo Switch 2 and need that instant gratification, that instant justification of all the rumors and the reports and, 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 and all the claims. And even though Nintendo told us, they gave us a time frame for when we're going to know what we need to know. We're going to know by the end of March. We're going to know what the hell's going on. We already know. Nintendo told us that. So they gave us a window, and we're still impatient about it. I want this thing revealed today. I wanted it revealed yesterday, last month. Hell, I wanted it revealed back in March of this year. But it wasn't. And you know what? I don't feel anxious about it because I'm not nervous about this system. The system is going to have Nintendo games. Let's just be honest. It's going to have Call of Duty. It's going to have Nintendo games. Sure, it's going to have a hell of a lot more. But those are things we know for sure. And because of that, I'm already excited for the system before I've even seen anything beyond maybe a prototype image, right? I am so stoked for what this is that while the more excited you get, the harder a wait can be. 
I actually think it's the opposite. The more excited I am, the better the weight becomes because I love the hype cycle. And that's what we're in. We're in the hype cycle. And I'm cool with that. So I want it revealed ASAP, but let's say the worst case scenario and it's not revealed till March 31st, 2025 um, at 11.59 p.m. at night, like the latest possible they could drop a reveal based on what they have said publicly, I'm still going to be okay. And I'm still going to be just as excited then as I would have been if they revealed it today. So I, I get being anxious, but anxiousness comes with nervousness. I don't think we need to be nervous about this system. I'm very confident about it. And as, you know, PH Brazil put out here, uh, I, it's the 3rd of October and you all are already need a reassurance. Like, do we need reassurances? PH Brazil has been so right that if he's saying 2024 and we're getting pretty late in 2024 and his sources aren't changing their tune, it's being revealed this year. If it's not this month, maybe it's another time. Maybe it ends up not being revealed, and I'm wrong to trust so much in Brazil or, you know, as far as Brazil is aware. And maybe he'll get new information a week from now, and it's not being revealed till 2025. But, guys, regardless of when it's revealed, it's going to be an exciting, hype-filled moment. And if you feel a little tired, you feel a little anxious, you feel a little bored, go play a game. Go outside. It's Fall weather is coming if you're in the U.S. Go, go enjoy the fall weather. Go uh, for a walk. You know, I don't want to tell you to touch grass. Most of us touch grass. But let's just do something, right? Go do something. If you're a little anxious, a little tired, go remind yourself that there's a lot of great things you can do right now that you don't have to wait for. And it'll make the wait just that much sweeter. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And I'll catch you in that next video where we're going to talk about why I actually enjoy and, and talk about Switch 2 every single day on this channel. I think, uh, I think it's going to be a good one for you guys.